Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Shami Mishasha binti Yaakob from JBA 2494A. So today in this video, I would like to show you on how to calculate a profitability ratio for a company. Okay, so here we go. As for the return on investment, the formula is earning after taxes divided by total assets. So Earning after taxes for 2017 divided by total asset. Okay, so we want the answer to be in percent, so we multiply it with 100. Okay, so we got that 7.5781. Okay, for the return on equity, the formula is earning after taxes divided by shareholders' equity. Shareholders equity Alright, we got the answer there So for the net profit margin The formula is earning after taxes Divided by sale Sales multiply 100. We got the answer there. Okay, as for the 2018 and 2019, I have already calculated it earlier so that it will be easy for me to edit the video. Okay, for the comment on the ratios, I have already commented it earlier. So, this is the results. For return on investment 2017, the firm has low effectively a return on its investment in assets. The firm is also low, efficiently managed its asset to produce profit during a period. For 2018, the firm makes an improvement in earning a return on its investment in assets. The firm sufficiently managed its asset to produce profit during period. The firms for the 2019, the firms have the highest ratio compared to the years before in earning a return on investment in assets. The firms efficiently manage its assets to produce profit during a period. High return on investment ratio makes the firm attra attractive for potential investors who might interested in providing long term. For the return on equity 2017, the firm has less effectively using the money from shareholders' investment to generate profit and grow the company. For 2018, the firm made an improvement in efficiently use the money to generate net income for the company. The firm has the highest ratios compared to the years before. In the 2019, the firm efficiently in using their money from shareholders' investor investments to generate profits and grow the company. This means the firm's sufficient in usage the investors fund. For the net profit margin 2017, the firm does not being effective in converting revenues into actual profits of the firm. For 2018, the firm's net profit margin increasing slightly means that it has become more effective in converting revenue into actual profits. The company for the 2019, the company net profit margin increasing over the period 2019, it means that the firms have become more effective than the year before the converting revenue into actual profit. Okay, so this is the charge I took from the chart part. Uh, it is a recommended chart. So the chart here shows comparing the year 2017, 2018 and 2019. Okay, that is all from me. Thank you.